Do you feel a bit intimidated by French slang? You don't have to be. French slang is not something that is reserved only for young people. In fact, everyone can use it, including you as a French learner. One of the best ways to get exposure to French slang is through TV shows. This is why in today's episode, we're going to explore the concept of street French using a scene from the very popular French TV show Lupin. Are you excited to learn some new French vocabulary so you can improve your French fluency? C'est parti! Here is one of the first scenes of the second season of Lupin. At a normal speed, without any subtitles. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. But first, what can you understand? J'ai entendu que vous cherchez un enfant à bien, Arsène Lupin Oui Un petit garçon Il a 14 ans, c'est notre fils. Il a un haut de forme et... Il est métisse. Un métisse Oui. J'ai vu un métisse s'embrouiller avec un mec sur le parking tout à l'heure. Attendez Raoul Raoul Ils sont partis par là Dans un BMW gris. Il ressemble à quoi ce type Il était noir, il avait un imper beige, il... mal rasé, mince. C'est le mec du train C'est qui ce mec, putain Tu m'as menti Arrête Qu'est-ce que tu fais Qu'est-ce que tu fais Lâche cette voiture, là Tu vas appeler les flics, hein, je te préviens Non, pas les flics Arrête Tu te calmes et tu me laisses faire, d'accord Je te jure, je vais les appeler. Fais-moi confiance, Claire, pas les flics Je vais ramener Raoul. Fais-moi confiance. Ça fait longtemps que je te fais plus confiance, Hassan. Claire, pas la police. Well done. Now let's see what it was all about. By the way, as for all my lessons, you'll find today's lesson in a written blog post as well as the full written subtitles, resources and surprises over at my website. I will leave a link below the video in the description below and it's all free. When talking about the Netflix show Lupin, we have to start with Arsène Lupin. Arsène Lupin. He is the fictional gentleman burglar created in 1905 by Maurice Leblanc. Arsène Lupin became an iconic character in French culture. A French superhero who could commit crime and bring justice. He got several adaptations over the years, such as a movie in the 50s and in 2003. In the Netflix show Lupin, we have a character called Hassan Diop, who is a big fan of Arsène Lupin books and stories. He is also a man on a quest for revenge and justice and a master of burglary and thievery. He is played by Omar Sy, who got famous for his part in Intouchable in 2011. We've watched a scene from this movie a few weeks ago on this channel, remember? In today's scene, Hassan is joined by Claire. Claire is the mother of his son Raoul. The character of Claire is played by French actress Ludivine Sagné. Ludivine Sagné is a great actress who's been part of French cinema since the 90s. The parents get help from undercover detective Youssef Gedira, who is played by Sofiane Gerab. Now that we have all three characters, let's get back to our scene. This time will make it much easier for you to understand. Let's slow down the scene and add some French subtitles. You will notice some special words in yellow. Un haut de forme. Un haut de forme is a top hat. Un haut de forme. Un impair, un impair is short for un imperméable, un imperméable, which is a raincoat or literally a waterproof coat. Un, 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 like number one in French, un is a common filler word without a clear meaning. 
I have a whole lesson on it and on other filler words that you will find a link to in today's blog post. And finally, un métis. Un métis is a French word for a mixed race person, usually between a black parent and a white parent. Are you ready? You can try to understand the dialogues or you can simply try to hear the words that they say instead. Can you hear the characters pronounce the subtitles for each line? Allez, c'est reparti. Raoul! Lupin? J'ai entendu que vous cherchez un enfant habillé à Arsène Lupin? Oui! Un petit garçon! Il a 14 ans, c'est notre fils. Il a un haut de forme et. Il est métis. Un métis? Oui. J'ai vu un métis s'embrouiller avec un mec sur le parking tout à l'heure. Attendez! Ils sont partis par là, dans un BMW gris. Il ressemble à quoi ce type Il était noir, il avait un impair beige, il est mal rasé, mince. Ah, c'est ta faute C'est le mec du train C'est qui ce mec, putain Tu m'as menti Arrête, qu'est-ce que tu fais Cette voiture là Tu l'appelais les flics, hein, je te préviens Non, pas les flics Arrête Tu te calmes et tu me laisses faire, d'accord Je te jure, je vais les appeler. Fais-moi confiance, Claire, pas les flics Je vais ramener Raoul. Fais-moi confiance. Mais ça fait longtemps que je te fais plus confiance, Sassan. Claire, pas la police. Ok, the scene is probably a bit more clear now. Hassan's son has just been kidnapped and they're looking for him. But you might have noticed some vocabulary that maybe was not on your French lessons at school. That's because they're basic French slang. They are un mec, un mec or un type. Un mec or un type, they both mean a guy, like un homme for a man, un homme. We also have un individu for an individual, un individu. Un mec and un type are mild slang words in French. They're not vulgar, they're just familiar. And there is a ton of other words in French with the same meaning. We have un gars, un gars with a silent R and S at the end. Un gus, un cum, and many, many more that you will find in the blog post for today's lesson. You also found un flic and les flics, un flic and les flics. This is French for cops. It is a common and familiar term for another word that we have in French, which is la police. This is the official name, la police. In modern French slang, we also use les keufs, les keufs, or even les poulets, literally chicken, les poulets. Obviously, do not use these words to address a police officer un policier or une policière next time you're visiting France. Our third slang word for today that Claire uses is putain. Do not say it. It is a swear word that originally means a sex worker. It is impolite. Yet, it's true we use it for a lot of situations in French to express fear, anger, frustration, admiration, love, surprise, and more. And if you've ever watched a modern movie or a TV show, you probably heard it a lot already, but please don't use it. And finally, the detective uses the verb s'embrouiller, s'embrouiller. S'embrouiller literally means to scramble, but in modern French, s'embrouiller means to argue or to fight. And especially the middle step, between arguing and fighting. It is more violent than se disputer, to argue, but less expressive than se battre, to really fight physically. And now with these few slang words in hand, let's watch the scene again, but this time with a translation. Raoul! Lupin? J'ai entendu que vous cherchez un enfant habillé à Arsène Lupin. Un petit garçon, il a 14 ans, c'est notre fils, il a un haut de sport, mais il est métis. Un métis Oui. J'ai vu un métis s'embrouiller avec un mec sur le parking tout à l'heure. Attendez Raoul 
Raoul Ils sont partis par là, dans un grand W gris. Il ressemble à quoi ce type Il était noir, il avait un impair beige, il... mal rasé, immense. Calme, et tu me le laisses faire, d'accord Je te jure, je vais les appeler. Fais-moi confiance, Claire, pas les flics. Je vais ramener Raoul. Fais-moi confiance. Mais ça fait longtemps que je te fais plus confiance, Sassan. Claire, pas la police. Félicitations. Now you can understand everything, but this is just a start. Because if you've tried to hear what they actually say, it is not always the same as in the subtitles below. This is where informal pronunciation comes into play. A real modern French is not only about slang words, it's also how we pronounce words. And since French people speak so fast, it's also about what we don't pronounce. This is why we would call manger des lettres, manger des lettres, eating letters or skipping letters. This scene is a fantastic example of that. Let's watch it again with French subtitles. This way, back at normal speed, you can practice hearing the fast spoken French. This time I highlighted all the letters that the characters skip. Most of them are E uh, in a one syllable word such as JE or DE, but you will see that there are other cases as well. Can you hear the fast pronunciation? C'est re reparti. Raoul! Lupin? J'ai entendu que vous cherchez un enfant à bien, Arsène Lupin? Oui! Un petit garçon! Il a 14 ans, c'est notre fils. Il a un haut de forme et. Il est métisse. Un métisse? Oui. J'ai vu un métisse s'embrouiller avec un mec sur le parking tout à l'heure. Attendez! Raoul! Raoul Ils sont partis par là, dans un BMW gris. Il ressemble à quoi ce type Il était noir, il avait un impair beige, il... mal rasé, mince. Ah ça pute C'est ta faute C'est le mec du train C'est qui ce mec putain Tu m'as menti Arrête, qu'est-ce que tu fais Cette voiture là Tu as appelé les flics, hein, je te préviens Non, pas les flics Arrête Tu te calmes et tu me laisses faire, d'accord Je te jure, je vais les appeler. Fais-moi confiance, Claire, pas les flics Je vais ramener Raoul. Fais-moi confiance. Mais ça fait longtemps que je te fais plus confiance, Hassan. Claire, pas la police. Bravo. And now it is time for your final test. Normal speed again, and this time no subtitles at all. Just like on real French TV again. So you can really feel your progress. You should be able to understand and hear much more than the first time. And this is the joy of practicing your French with a plan. So for the final time, here it comes again. C'est parti. Raoul Lupin J'ai entendu que vous cherchez un enfant à bien, Arsène Lupin Oui Un petit garçon Il a 14 ans, c'est notre fils. Il a un haut de forme mais et... Il est métisse. Un métisse Oui. J'ai vu un métisse s'embrouiller avec un mec sur le parking tout à l'heure. Attendez Raoul Raoul Ils sont partis par là, dans un BMW gris. Il ressemble à quoi ce type Il était noir, il avait un impair beige, il... mal rasé, mince. C'est le mec du train C'est qui ce mec, putain Tu m'as menti Arrête, qu'est-ce que tu fais Qu'est-ce que tu fais Lâche cette voiture, là Tu as appelé les flics, hein, je te préviens Non, pas les flics Arrête Tu te calmes et tu me laisses faire, d'accord Je te jure, je vais les appeler. Fais-moi confiance, Claire, pas les flics Je vais ramener Raoul. Fais-moi confiance. Mais ça fait longtemps que je te fais plus confiance, Hassan. Claire, pas la police. 
Félicitations. This was much easier than the first time, right? If you still don't understand everything, you can watch this video again as many times as you like, of course, and jump forward, backwards, pause and read the whole lesson on my blog. And you can also try your hand at another scene of Lupin. Just click right here on your screen to access Learn French with Lupin with another scene. I will see you there. Allez, à tout de suite.